Hi friends, I have spent the bulk of the morning not doing anything. I slept until 11.30 because I am lazy and it is now almost quarter to four and later tonight, probably six or seven, I'm gonna take Jackie and Molly around and drive them because it is Jackie's 21st birthday today. What I should be doing if I were a responsible adult who was worried about paying their bills because they don't have a job right now. I would be up in Bangor Ubering right now because it's the Rise Above Fest, which I guess is a thing, and I guess it's happening during the day, so I should be up there doing that, but I'm not because sometimes I'm just way too irresponsible to function. But it'll be fine, things will get paid, I know I complain about it a lot, but there are ways to make it happen. However, something that I do want to do today is cut my credit card. I got this credit card a while ago so I could buy my plane tickets to go to England in March when I went to go see the Harry Potter play. And I needed it then because I didn't have the money to buy the plane tickets to go. So I had gotten a credit card and I got a pretty good premium on it. I got a pretty good rate because my credit score is really good. And sometimes I just use the card when I don't really need to. I, I don't know, like I'm using it when I don't need to use it. The main goal of it, the main purpose I got it to begin with was for traveling and going on that trip and going to Chicago when I went to go see Dylan and I was gonna use it for other sort of trips but now I just think that it's really hindering me from paying it off because I keep buying stupid things with it. So I think I need to pay this card off and then maybe I'll apply for another one for traveling in the future but for right now this one has to go away. I need to get rid of the temptation for myself because if I don't get rid of the temptation then I will never ever be rid of this card and I need to get it all paid off before the um what is it called is it the APR IARP a something 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 goes up <laughs> and I need to start paying interest on it because right now I'm, I don't have to pay interest so I need to make that go away so I'm going to cut my card I'm going to take it off of my Apple Pay wallet because oh my gosh it's so convenient to just use my phone to pay like in Hannaford and stuff oh my gosh but I need to get rid of it I told myself in college that I would never ever have a credit card because I would do this with it now I haven't maxed it out I'm still using my actual bank card for a lot of my payments but some Sometimes, sometimes I'm just like, oh, you know what? I could just put this on my credit card. And it's kind of like a dangerous game I'm playing right now when I don't have a job. Hello. You're so cute. I am watching Friends from College, which is a new Netflix series, and it's all right. I don't mind it. It's kind of just in the background of my life at the moment. So if you were curious to know what I'm watching on Netflix, that's what I'm watching. But I watched Food Choices over the course of the last few days. I watched all of Food Choices and it's made me really want to stop. Oh, I've got a hair stuck to my chapstick. It makes me really want to stop buying dairy products, especially like yogurts and I buy a lot of cottage cheese and eggs is kind of like, I don't know that I want to keep buying that stuff. I don't know that I can say goodbye to feta cheese or goat cheese quite yet, but I think first and foremost I'm gonna stop buying yogurts and eggs and start filling up with more fruit bits. So we'll see what happens. I'll let you know how that goes. Slowly and slowly getting more plant-based. And to be honest, since I've been eating a lot better, if you guys go back through like these last few vlogs, like when I've been actually meal prepping and buying more fruits and vegetables since I haven't bought, I don't buy bread, I don't buy pasta, I don't buy a lot of prepackaged things. I buy a lot of Twix though, cause a little treat and also I'm not drinking coffee. I have felt a lot better. I will say that I have felt like my body has felt a lot better less sluggish less like weird bloated feelings so that's been really good I need to learn to cook I think is the, the moral of this so I just want to ask the other grown-ups out there maybe people who have been a grown-up longer than I have but do you just accumulate big piles of bills and other important documents that you don't ever really look at is that a thing that happens in adulthood? Because I feel like I am just riddled with documents that I think it's gonna be super important and then I don't look at them for years and years and years. Like, is that regular? Is that a regular adult occurrence? Because this stack, just this stack, has been accumulating since I moved into this apartment. This is stuff that I got once I moved in. This is stuff 
some of it's from college. This is stuff that I accumulated better organized. Uh, when I first lived alone, when I first moved out of the apartment with Wally and Richard, I have this stuff that accumulated from work. I have more things under here and cards and, oh, my college degree. <laughs> I am going to take some time. I'm gonna keep watching Friends from College. I'm on the second to last episode right now. And I'm going to try and sort out my life a little bit. Adulting. I just finished watching What the Health on Netflix. It's also another food health documentary style. And I'm really extra considering plant-based diet right now because of it. It's just absolutely crazy to think that all of these really big health organizations take money from sponsors, from, from companies that they should not be sponsored by. Wow, I am shook right now. So considering plant-based diet, Dave will be so thrilled. But I'm about to head over to Molly and Jackie's to do some birthday celebration for Jackie. And let's go. Hi, hi, happy birthday. Look at your sash! It's kind of crooked, but it says... Yay! Wow, look at this. Is this flat? Not even a little bit. Oh, well, you know, let's put the water on it. Princess! Hi! Hello, it's me! Hello! It's me. And it's you! I baked a banana bread in between pong games. <laughs> So that's what I did at Jackie's 21st. It was real cool, it was chill, just hanging out, played a few games of Pong, baked a banana bread, and now I'm back home. And it's 11.30 right now, and I'm contemplating watching another documentary, but I don't know. Maybe I should go into bed and read or something, do something different, but I'm kind of on this food documentary kick right now, like food and health documentary stuff. So if you have any suggestions on those, let me know. I'm interested. I'm down with it right now. I'm really feeling it. I feel like I'm being watched. Looks like she's gonna have the overall lead heading into Sunday. I love when you not only destroy my sock, but you also destroy the carpet. That's cool. You're so cute though. All right kids, it is bedtime. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you made it this far. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.